Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Ancient Domains of Mystery, where we are still playing as Nira, who is now finally ready to visit the village dungeon. Uh, I also went ahead and looked at my stats before and after that stat change uh, caused by that weird potion with rank, and it looks like... let's see here. Uh, strength, learning, willpower, dexterity... Uh, charisma and appearance were completely unchanged. Uh, the things that did change is toughness went up from, from a maxed out 14 out of 14 to a 20 out of 37. So that is definitely a huge improvement. Mana did go down uh, by 10 points from 29 and a maximum of 37 or so. I don't know. Down to a maximum of 30, which is, you know, it should still be fine if we can go back up there. Uh, mana should increase upon level up and from uh, actually using necromancy, I think. So uh, that shouldn't be too much of a problem, especially since our power points are still uh, definitely good enough. And I very much appreciate the extra hit points. Uh, what really went down is perception. That was at 30 or so, went down to 14 and, and is also completely capped right now or maxed out. So I'm, I'm not entirely sure what perception even does. It might have to do with being able to avoid traps and the like, so maybe that's a bigger issue than, than it might seem at first, but, well, we'll just have to roll with it, and there I go, pressing that button again. So, yeah, without further ado, we are very close to level 12, which is great. Heart girl. hmm. I mean... Still using the, that girdle of strength, and I did actually get rid of the mithril girdle. I don't know. That might have been a mistake. I'm not sure. Right. Itching feeling. I don't really need to be wearing the stone amulet either. Unless I want to become lawful. I don't know. Do I? I guess ultimately, in terms of quests and the like, I'm, I'm always going to, to go for the lawful option, as in, you know, saving people and the like, people and cute dogs. Um, so I suppose I might as well keep that on. Um, the girdle, that's right. D, B, and that is another girdle of strength? Seriously? Okay. Except it's heavier. No, wait, it's not. It's not even heavier. Right. Okay. I don't think I've ever seen a girdle of strength before, and now I find two back to back. Okay. Well, uh, seems like this dungeon should be easy enough for me to basically kill everything with my sword, providing some training in that regard. Cobalt corpse. No, thanks. Huh? Oh, there we go. Even orcs, no problem. Crystal dagger, hmm. I mean, I do have my dagger skill. I don't know if a crystal dagger is necessarily a good thing, but it sounds special somehow. Uh, 2d3 plus 4, okay. That's definitely a lot better than the skull dagger or normal dagger I had before. But I guess swords just have a better potential. The saber is not not particularly amazing, but you know, I feel like there are probably a good number of decent swords in the game. Hello there. Um, yeah, let's start reading that one. Wow, getting a lot of reads out of that. Okay, um, speaking of which, invisibility is up to 862, okay. Right, we do have the teleportation, which is amazing. I guess I might as well hotkey that one. Slow poison, yeah. We don't really need a stun rake. 
could certainly come in handy. Maybe I should give that a try sometime. Although, I don't know, these early early game enemies, early floor enemies on this dungeon in particular, hardly warrant that kind of tra special treatment. Several items, huh? Okay. Carpe diem scroll. I no longer fear breeding vermin. Okay. So that, that was a scroll of vermin control, I guess. Not sure what that does. Breeding vermin. Oh, oh, wait. Um, of course, there are obviously enemies that like to breed. Like rats and... Do rats do that in this game? Worms do. Hmm. Maybe there are certain kinds of rats and other rodents that like to multiply. I haven't really run into any problems with that yet. Not to the extent that some of my characters in uh, Angband variants have. But I suppose, given sufficiently powerful breeders, that can be very different. Food preservation went up. Okay, cool. Feel hungry already. Okay. An orc corpse. Well, don't mind if I do. Hmm. So stairs must be in that one room that I didn't check. Oops. Oh, there suddenly are a lot of rats. Hmm. So it also went to level 3, if I saw that correctly. Oops. Yes, I do. Indeed. Plus 1 to damage. It's always nice. 1d6 plus 8. Eh, still... Not much compared to my actual melee focus characters, but... Oh, scroll of uncursing, awesome. Ring mail could be decent. And it's about the same as my other one. Except even a little bit worse. And a bit heavier, so... Yeah. Level three. Excuse me, red. Thank you. Uh, skull dagger. Nah, I think I'm good. Unless I find something, another kind of dagger that somehow sounds amazing, that I have not seen before. Because I'm gonna stick with my sword. Stick things with my sword, even. Yes. Door is open. Tastes like chicken. I wonder. Not that I have a particular interest in eating real life bats. You're friendly? Apparently so. Hmm. Okay. Okay, one of these rooms again. Heap of bones. I mean, I guess they don't weigh much. Although they do weigh something. I don't know. I'm probably not going to use a skeleton if I, if and when I actually finally decide to use an undead minion. Oh, it's a healer right here. How useful. Well, Matt, I uh, would like to learn. Yep, need to exert mercy. I guess I could probably just go ahead and, and kill the carpenter. I don't think I've ever done that. Oh, frost. Amazing. Amazing. Right, my sharp is cursed. Hmm. I do have that scroll of uncursing, but I feel like it's too valuable to use on, on the short bow. 
there's always a chance that this one is amazing, of course. Um, on on another character, I think it might be the Beast Fighter. I've actually found a short bow that is plus four, plus three, or something, just on, on one of the first couple of dungeon floors, from a normal cobalt. So I mean, obviously random. But um, yep, that can kind of thing exists, and this could be one of them. But is it really that important? I guess judging by the fact that I still haven't fired a single arrow, I guess not. What did I want to do? I want to read. What? Wait, what? R? Oh. There we go. Wow. That was very... Very good. 1500 casts. Down to 7 PP as well. And, well, experience is not very plentiful here on these enemies. A new scroll? Sure, let's read it. Your arrow turns to dust. One arrow turns to dust, okay. Still not quite sure what that kind of scroll is even supposed to do. If that's a cursed version of a scroll that has some kind of benefit. Identify. Amazing. Uh, is there something I want to identify? Hmm. I thought I had some kind of... Or did I ad identify my Ring of Luck, I guess? Or Cold Resistance? I think the one of Cold Resistance I might have identified before. So, yeah, right now we don't really have much that needs identifying. I have this one potion of water. Um... That I think used to be identified as or appraised as, as good. So I'm pretty sure it's actually holy water. Unless something happened to my potion of holy water and I didn't realize. The thing is, if I dip the scroll of identify into the holy water or into normal water, it will actually go away. Which would be a shame. A normal scroll of identify is certainly more useful than no scroll of identify at all. Should I try it? It's not like I really need a, a blessed scroll of identify right now. But um, well, I want to give that a try. Actually, if if I end up losing it, it's not that bad. Item to dip is gonna be scroll of identify, and I'm gonna use the potion of water. Pray. Okay, I did. It doesn't say that it. Hmm, okay, it did not. It did not uh, delete it, so I guess that worked. The potion is gone, though. That's what I thought. I wonder if there's a chance for the potion not to disappear, but I. I guess probably not. That would be a bit too powerful. Okay, time to look around for sacred stuff. Ah, okay, that was fast. How lucky. Already no longer hungry. Is it just me, or is this character getting hungry faster than he should? She should, rather. Hmm. Oh, Pixie? Pixie. Stay here. Maybe I should just blast away. Okay, that works. Several items. A um, bit of candy and some gold. All of that stuck in a spider web, which is kind of disgusting. Wait, are the stairs somewhere in here? They are not. Okay. Hmm. I guess I wasn't as lucky as I thought. Why are you running, my friend? Don't be afraid. What now? The rattling thief chuckles with hateful glee as the god of thieves immediately takes his share. What? No! You jerk. No idea how much gold I had. 
Hmm. I mean, I did spend most of it on those two books earlier, so I guess I didn't lose that much. I guess I don't really need to use, to search this entire corridor. Oh. Hi, worms. You shouldn't be a problem to kill. Food preservation, okay. Easy. A leather cap. Um, can that really be better than the horned helmet? Probably not. Homunculus, die please. And of course, stairs are the last place to check. Loaf of bread. I guess I might as well. Or I could pick this up and eat uh, one of my iron rations that I still have. That I thought I had, but I actually don't. Hmm. Well, in that case, I might as well just pick this up anyway. It's not super heavy. Is that ah, stupid itching feeling? Yeah, actually, I don't know. I guess I'm going to take off this amulet because these messages tend to confuse me, or I tend to think there's something else. There we go. I'm now able to turn undead, for what it's worth. All right, uh, I could go for more stealth. There aren't that many skills that are really worth investing in at this point, unfortunately, uh, with the most important ones already maxed out. Mm, I did read a little bit about alchemy, and it, as I basically as I thought, um, it can be used to create potions of gain attribute, which are definitely one of the most useful thing in the game. But uh, there's also always a chance, uh, at least below max skill, there's always a chance to to fail and create an explosion, which is what killed one of my earlier characters. Of course, uh, this character already has enough hit points to probably be able to survive an explosion, but I don't know, I'm still not, I still don't feel too good about experimenting with that. Also, obviously you need uh, a lot of ingredients to even uh, do alchemy. Well, I don't know. I'm gonna go with more stealth. That's also down to 1d5 now. I guess climbing, sure. And now everything's 1d5. Um, I guess I want more appraising. In fact, give me as much of that as possible. 60. Should be decent. And I have not picked up any uh, skill increase, uh, any, any speed increases for this character. So I guess I'm going to start doing that now. She's now quick and self-confident. Cool. I think charisma went up. Is that what it is? Yeah. Okay, there are the stairs. But I think I might as well clear out the entire dungeon. Oh. Got a dark room. Slurping sounds, huh? There we go. Finally starting to identify some stuff. And there's absolutely nothing of interest in this room. Good. Awesome. Glad we checked. Hmm. Oh, oh, hold on. There's something there. Maybe nothing exciting, but... <sighs> okay. At least I didn't lose any items, or too many hit points. What was that? Back up? Yes. Uh, torch. Eh, I don't know. Could be useful, but... If 
Five arrows. Yeah. Goblin rock throw corpse. Another single arrow. Actually, okay. Uh, first, down to the next level. Why don't I start shooting things? Oops. Arrow of hunting. Ah, right. I should probably not be using these. Because um, they could come in very handy. Slimy. I also should not have eaten that frog while satiated. I feel like being bloated is still detrimental in general. Also, why am I... Why am I... This is relatively slow. I'm not burdened. Does simply being satiated already slow you down a bit? Hmm, possibly. What did I want to do? Ah, oh, right. Switch to different arrows. Yeah, uh, arrows of hunting do increase the chances of getting... of enemies leaving corpses, which is, of course, you know, really useful. Or it can be really useful, but pretty much wasted when just used against uh, normal enemies or, you know, enemies that you don't particularly need or want to drop a corpse. Nope. Okay, next stairs already. A potion of water. A tin wand. Still, yeah, right, I, I still have this wand that I wanted to use. You know what? Why don't I raise myself an orc minion? Just because. I haven't done that in, in a long time. I have this, corp avail uh, corp, this corpse available, and I'm currently not hungry, which is rare enough. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll make myself an orc shadow. Uh, or actually, no. Let's go with a ghoul. Level 10. Pretty good. Um, 30, 35 out of 55? Okay. If you say so. Cloves, meh. I don't think so. What else? Right, I want to zap my wands. I also want to shoot my bow. <sighs> okay, I don't have a different cloak, right? Nope, of course not. My arrows are just normal arrows. That's fine. Oops. There, okay. Mana is already back up the one point I, I spent. Don't I already have one of these? I guess it's still worth picking up since they can break. <coughs> oh. Okay. Even swordsman, no problem. Well then, down to the final level. You're a troll. This doesn't care about me. I don't care that it doesn't care. Oh. Okay, trolls are... Unsurprisingly, quite nasty. You know what? I still have my spells. There's absolutely no reason... to take any risks against this thing. Any more than I already have. In fact, why don't I wait around a little bit? Uh, maybe not. Excuse me. Another potion of water. And they're both the same, so probably not um, blessed. Ah, uh, you know what? Almost 80 hit points should be enough to go on. 
And there's Eric's already. Oh, actually... Wait a minute. Is my orc gonna fight him? Scroll of power. I think that simply uh, refills uh, power points. So it's not that great. Okay, Eric's... Please follow me. There you are. Oh, why am I berserking? I'm dumb. <sighs> okay, they're fighting. That's kind of what I thought. It's a bit of a problem. He's not injured. I mean, I I think he's strong enough to probably not be killed by my ghoul. But... Okay, he's paralyzed. That's, of course, not great. Not that I absolutely need to save him, but I guess I might as well try. Um... So, how does this work? Right, I can turn undead. I should, should try that sometime. I wonder if that works against my own minions. Probably? Um, yes. Target you. Um, follow me, I guess. Okay. The ghoul is panicking. Also, hmm. Okay. That, that's fine. That does make things less complicated. Okay, stairs are right over there. What was that? All right, yeah, because I only have a skill, uh, speed of 99. Which is unusually slow by my standards. Out of my way, please. And... Almost made it. Just gonna kill everything in my way with spells at this point. There we go. Several items, right. Um, a white potion. I wonder if that's always the same. Hmm. And of course the manual of bridge building for what it's worth. And you are now going to teach me, right? Yes. Awesome. Softly touches my forehead. Thank you. And it's only a 20, but that's better than nothing. I'm definitely going to invest most of my points into that skill as soon as I next level up, which is going to be, or is not going to be for a while. However, that being said, I guess I'm pretty much ready now, as, as ready as I'll be, to explore a bit more of the world, finally. First, I'm going to read the huge manual. Awesome. And I suppose it can be sold, so I'm not going to throw it away yet. I'm going to drink the white potion? Oh, really? That poisoned me. Awesome. Well, thanks, dude. Uh, I guess that gives me a chance to try my slow poison, uh, po poison? Slow, slow poison spell. Okay, it's diluted, but it's still there. Interesting. No, not D. Uh, Z. D. Hmm. Will it actually cure it eventually? Maybe not. I guess I can keep trying that, since it is cheap enough. Okay. I'll dilute it further, no problem. Okay, it's plus two. Hmm. I mean, I... How much damage am I even taking? None? But now I regenerate it. I 
I am still no longer poisoned. Okay, never mind. I don't know. I, I guess the spell really helped. Maybe. Hmm. Oh. Hi, dog. Uh, I am still berserking. That's fine. All right. Uh, what else? I guess um, I'm ready to leave the dungeon. Keep training my weapon a little bit. My bow's actually almost up uh, another level. Right. Yeah, the stairs are right here. Doesn't hit anything. Not sure why I thought it would. Nice. Bow's level 1. And, oh, okay, that's, that was a corpse, I guess. Could use something to eat before I leave, to have something for the way. We'll see. If any enemies show up, like this guy. Uh, just an arrow. No tasty orc corpse. Uh, Jekyll, however, is perfectly e eatable, also known as edible. I... what? Okay. Not sure what happened there. Did I... I couldn't possibly have hit capital Z instead of lowercase g. What? Oh, I must have hit escape, which for whatever reason is mapped to capital Z. Oh, I also have the ones that I wanted to try uh, the brass wand okay that's a wand of light actually good to know With one charge remaining tin wand I sense nothing special hmm maybe trap detection I would have uh, I would have sensed treasure let's get my arrow back Not sure why I didn't shoot the bat. There we go. Oh, this floor is actually also fully explored. And we're back out. Alright then. Uh, I guess we will re report our success now. No reason to uh, fight these. Also, should probably go to coward mode. So, let's tell the mayor the good news. Uh, eternal gratitude. I would hope so. Okay. Uh, food prices have been lowered. It's nice. Now try to find the source of all this chaos stuff. I believe that the origin of this great evil might lie in an ancient dungeon in the western central part of the, of the mountains. Look out for a truly foreboding place. Yeah, uh, as if there was any shortage of truly for foreboding places in this area. But All right. Um, yeah. Weirdly, that is not... That does not count as a as a quest, and I'm pretty sure that's all he tells us. Huh. No, I absolutely don't want to attack. Thank you. Uh, pretty sure no one else gives me any new quests either. Okay, my time will come. Sure, I guess. My time to die, if nothing else. Oh, hey, healing went up. That is nice. I could try to find Blub's mom, I suppose, if anyone cared to tell me where she might be, possibly. I guess the idea is that nobody knows. And Blub himself, herself, isn't actually particularly helpful in that regard. And also doesn't give me an official quest, so yeah, I don't know. I guess I'll buy some food for the way. I guess a large version is fine. Yeah, that does weigh me down. I could try haggling a bit, even though it's unlikely to work. No, yeah, okay. Price is raised. Doesn't matter. Not like they are particularly expensive to begin with. Speaking of which, uh, okay, I'm gonna eat one of them immediately. That satiates me, of course. 
I suppose I'll check the shop over here as well. Okay, mumbling. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't think... Oh, oh, never mind. Okay, so the store did restock for the items I actually bought. Hmm. This is a little bit too expensive for a cloak that just gives you one to evasion. Hmm. Not to mention 378 GP for a leather girdle with absolutely no bonuses. Yeah. Scroll on cursing. Still not worth it. Also, I just don't have the money for it. Yeah. Not even close. Okay. Uh, I missed the bandit. I did not mean to fight the bandit. But I suppose I might as well. So what's went up to level 4? Wow. Okay. Thank you. Uh, yeah, thanks, and uh, sorry about splattering some blood over your merchandise, I guess. Well then, uh, I think with that we're done for done with this easternmost area. I guess I'm gonna explore the map just because. Uh, barbarians. Uh, I think I'll try evading all the encounters. I could. Uh, I could very carefully try to look around the, the small cave a little bit, but, uh, yeah, despite its unassuming name, it's actually one of the most dangerous places in the early area. Uh, I think I read that monster level is up to twice your level, so it scales up exponentially, and I'm already level 12, so initial spawns are going to be really high level. It's supposedly also a good way, uh, a good place to grind levels, because high level enemies give more experience, of course. And it also connects to some other dungeon. I, I admit that I don't fully understand uh, how that works or or why you want to go there, what the importance of that dungeon is. If you, if if I will have to return here, basically, to do something that is necessary for the. Uh, for the ending of the game, or one of the many endings of the game. I don't know. Uh, it sounds intriguing, and I do have the invisibility spell, which in theory should allow me to uh, move around, maybe even without fighting any or all the enemies. I wonder if this is the right time to experiment with that. I would very much like to push ahead a little bit toward the west, so I think that's what I'm going to do. Uh, well, there's a little spot unexplored. There we go. Yeah. I could also try to dive a bit deeper in the uh, group of lost souls. Uh, no? Okay, good. Um, dive a bit deeper in the infinite dungeon. Pack of wild dogs. Thanks. Lizard men. Um, what? Oh, that moved. That, that worked. Okay. My skin crawled strangely. I feel drawn to the northwest, yes. Hmm. Sun burns. Oh. Wait, oh, never mind. I'm not a dark elf. Everything's good. Sun burning is not actually deadly. I am getting hungry, so let's eat that other large ration. And there's a dungeon, actually. A rather boring cave entrance. Okay. Well, actually, group of outlaws. Um, I think I want to follow <laughs> this road. I was gonna say, and see if I can find another settlement of some sort to maybe pick up a quest or two. A pyramid without any means of access, you say? Okay, no means to enter. Hmm. Okay. Barbarian group. Uh, why don't I... Getting hungry again. Lone Necromancer. Shouldn't be too bad. But I also don't need to fight him, necessarily. A boring cave entrance? Uh, yeah, sure. Boring is good. Female goblin. Okay, that was easy enough. DDL. 
What might that stand for? Hmm. No idea. Okay, not sure why the banner didn't move, but it's fine by me. A pitch. Awesome. Potion of carrot juice. Uh, does that actually do anything for me? Hmm. I don't know. All right. Nope. All right. Green slime is nasty. Oh, okay. It certainly seems like enemies here are not any higher level than what I'm used to. I guess the name of the place did not actually lie to me. Okay, we've got some spider infestation going on here. See if we can bypass that locked door like this. Spell, spell book of Frostbolt. Amazing. Oh, I'm getting really hungry. Okay, fine. I guess I'll eat a normal loaf of bread. Nothing special. A bit stale, too. Nah. Uh, read. Oh, I forgot to sell the manual of bridge building. Derp. Uh, I'm not even sure if it's worth all that much. I guess I also don't absolutely need to get rid of it while I'm not burdened. So, not eat. Read. R E L. R E L. R E L. There we go. 1800. Very good. Out of ammo. No, not the arrows of hunting, please. These are fine. Oh, wow. That's another stack of arrows plus nothing. Maybe cursed because the first one got immediately destroyed. I don't know. Uh, seems like there might be more to this floor, but... Well, I guess I can at least check here. I'm down. This dungeon is very dusty. Whatever that's supposed to mean. Gargoyle. You know what? Gargoyles are decently dangerous. Gargoyle corpse. Um, I'm pretty sure I've eaten one of those and it didn't hurt me. <laughs> You're done eating the gargoyle corpse, the remains of your stale meal uh, turn to rocks. Okay. You'd think that that's a bad thing, especially. What? Oh, that's a teleport trap. Oh, teleport me there. <laughs> oh. Sidestep. Hello, ooze? What? Where'd the ooze go? Okay. This is an unusual amount of traps, especially compared to what I'm used to. This can't be normal. VDDL is the current dungeon level. Hmm. Is that I don't know, dangerous dungeon L? I don't know. Very dangerous dungeon. <laughs> hmm. This must be some kind of special level. There's no way the game would just randomly generate this amount of uh, same kind of traps. Actually, speaking of which, uh, 
Nope, that's apparently not a wand of trap location, or trap detection. Hmm. Kick. Hello. Okay, another one. Okay, goes up to two. Hmm. Oh, I suppose I might use that as a shortcut. Why not? Potion of booze. Hmm. I never looked up. Never looked up. Uh. I suddenly aged. Oh, god damn it! Stupid ghost. Wait. Can you even hit a ghost? Wait, did I not cast a spell? Okay, this should work. Potion of Booze is shattered, okay. Yeah, I'm not sure if you can even... Um, cast a spell at an enemy that's inside a wall. I mean, being H is annoying, but then again, I am playing as, a, as an elf who... Uh, wait, 289... Out of 296 years? 296 is my starting age, though, right? It's That's not my maximum life expectancy. Because elves can grow very old, so... Magical aging shouldn't be too much of an issue. Okay. So far, so good. I'm super nervous about this dungeon, needless to say. <sighs> we have another door I need to kick. That's a Berserker Lord. That sounds pretty horrible. He must have seen me, though. Oh, suddenly he appears. God damn it. Can I outrun him? Well, I can. Okay. I could always teleport, of course. Hi, mommy. Okay. Um, can you can you use uh, traps on purpose? I mean, I, I suppose I can always. What? You what now? Did I press the wrong button? No, forced teleportation. What the hell? Okay. Four. Which I right? Ah, uh, because I didn't. I forgot that I had to pick my own character first. Okay. Maybe this guy is not even. As dangerous as I thought it might be. Where's the freaking mummy? You're not the mummy. You're not my mummy. Did it stumble into a teleportation trap when it couldn't see me? Dark Sage. Looking for one of those on my uh, Beast Fighter character. So far, no luck. Marble Wand. Yeah, I'll take that. Bit of candy. Sure, why not? Okay. Bye-bye, caveman. Oh, there's... How many traps are there? Holy crap. Oh. Okay. Potion of Cure Poison. Not that I absolutely need that. I feel like I have plenty of ways to get rid of poison, but, you know. Nope. Yeah, sure. Might as well use up the single arrows here. And eat this corpse while I'm at it. Hi, mummy. And I one-shot it. That's not what I expected. Uh, speaking of which... Oh, come on. Oh, wow. 
I hardly got any experience for all the enemies I kill here. I suppose most of them were relatively low level. Violet potion. Wow. God damn it. This is obnoxious. Or it would be if I didn't have teleport control. Can't even imagine playing it like this. Or playing it without it, rather. Oh, no. um, yeah. Chaos Sister, not so bad. You're a rock snake? Stone snake. Close enough. Critically hits me. Not for a ton of damage. Come on. There we go. What? Because I didn't specify a location, it just put me in a random place? Okay. <laughs> so, can you... Oh, yeah, you can. Hmm. So you don't automatically sidestep known traps. Good to know. Uh, is there anything more to this place? Or is this all it is? What's the point? Maybe there isn't a point. Hmm. I mean, only two levels seems... Like... I don't know. Not enough dungeon. Hmm. But there was obviously also no obvious way or no obvious location for for a hidden room. Okay, blink dogs. Should not be fighting these while berserking. Or rather, only one at a time. Individually, they're not that bad. Hello, caveman. Wow. Blink Doc disappeared. Nope. There it is. Heavy spear, corals, potion of cure poison, another one. Hmm. I also did find this potion of. Uh, this violet potion, actually. Oh. Healed and refreshed. Cool. It's uh, not a potion of healing, apparently, but probably something better than I just wasted. Mostly, anyway. Okay. Didn't get aged this time around. Stupid ghosts. Rusty climbing set. Is that actually. Is a climbing set something you can actually climb the mountains on the overworld with? I feel like I read about something like that at one point. Hmm. Of course, it is quite heavy. What else is weighing me down? Hmm. Nothing individually. Uh, well, the manual of bridge building, I guess. Okay. No longer burdened. Oh. Okay, I can just do that now. That's amazing. Hmm. I wonder if that opens up anything uh, back in the eastern section. Interesting. Huh. I sneak up on a pack of cave uh, a back a pack of cave lions. Evade fight or ambush them. Interesting. No, I don't think I need to be fighting them. Wow. Okay. Uh I should probably also call it an episode. We certainly uh discovered a couple of new things, including this rather boring cave entrance with the rather obnoxious second level. Hmm. Still not convinced there isn't more to this dungeon than meets the eye. This pyramid is certainly interesting. Obviously, 
<laughs> there's gonna be some way to enter. Maybe with a climbing set you can climb to the top and find an entrance there? I don't know. I guess that's something I'll figure out next time. Maybe I'll go back and check out these mountains. I'm pretty sure that the high mountains can't be scaled, but obviously we can now move through these. Huh, it's almost like a bit of a Metroidvania element, suddenly. Hmm. Or, you know, I could just keep looking around a bit more. Yeah, okay, but um, this is a good point to take a break, so I'll do just that. Uh, as always, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.